<laughs> freezing. Um, why don't we just get? Why don't we get into that? So, um, I, I can explain. Um, I can explain the mindset. I can explain the mentality um, of the WWF back in the eighties. Um, so, so the the fans could could understand. Um, first off, a guy in my position. Um, you know, we were talking about the uh, off the air. We were talking about the guy that I had my first professional match with, which is uh, Greg Valentine, right? Yeah. Uh, this is this is in relation to this. I'm just going to throw this up quickly because you were in the big news again yesterday, even bigger than this channel, Wall Street Journal. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just read it out for people that might have seen a former WWE CEO, Vince McMahon, who retired this year amid misconduct allegations, reportedly wants to make a return to the company. And then it goes on to say that two separate women, that it's all out there on the internet, basically have historic cases coming up against Vince. Right. And that's... Right. Yeah. So... <sighs> You asked me about Greg Valentine and my opinion of uh, him saying that he, he thinks it's a lie, right? Yeah. Um, next year, this July, it'll be 39 years ago that I worked with Greg Valentine. I'm pretty sure that's far before you were born. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... When I worked with Craig Valentine, July 31st, 1984, Greg Valentine has already been working for 14 years. So Greg Valentine started working in this business in 1970. But his father was John Johnny Valentine, a very famous wrestler back in the 50s and 60s. Very famous, on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's got the bloodline. These people, for the lack of a better word, are purebreds. They're born for the business. Bret Hart was a pro wrestler. You wrestled him on this guy's second birthday. There you go. Um, Bret Hart was a pro wrestler while, while he was in his mother's stomach. Pre predestined. Right, Greg Valentine's predestined. These are hardcore pro wrestlers. These are they are pro wrestling. Yeah. They they are the quintessential pro wrestler. They are everything that you think of a pro wrestler. These guys like Bret Hart, Don Morocco, Greg Valentine, Tito Santana, you know, Bruno San Martino, the, all these guys are they're they're it you know i love greg valentine i don't like greg valentine i love greg valentine he's a friend of mine it's very hard for me because i'm one of the boys because when valentine sees me he grins ear to ear when beefcake sees me dibiase santana ear to ear so i'm one of the boys and that's a very exclusive club. It, the brotherhood and the camaraderie is 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 very strong and very very exclusive. And Greg Valentine's a human being, and he's entitled to his own opinion, and his opinions to be respected, because he doesn't demand. Because when you demand respect, you never get it, but when you command it, you sure do. And he commands all the respect in the world in this in the business. And he's kind of in the same position that I'm in. You know what I mean? That people say, you know, did that happen? What can I tell you is that's what was communicated to me. And, and basically, Valentine is saying the same thing. Hey, that's what she said to me. But it, then he turns around and goes, but I think it's, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then he gives a little rib. I'm sure for Vince to laugh, you know, to say that, because I don't think she was good enough for Vince to do good looking enough for her to do that. 
I, you know, I like I what I said on last night's podcast, only by permission of my my agent Maurice to do that <laughs> podcast. John Paz, the two man power trip should be out soon. Check it out. Right. Nice guy. <laughs> yeah, because I do I do like to keep it to here and in 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 Hannibal, but um. It's it's a thing where um you know it was it was communicated to me it's it, it's difficult it's a difficult position because I never want to be shunned by the boys I don't want to walk into a wrestling convention and at one time I got a hug and some laughs and all of a sudden I'm not acknowledged you know what I mean it, it, it you know. The people that aren't in the business that saw that, um, a couple of parents um, for the students at Paradise Alley, you know, I actually would say, well, I, I, I guess, I guess my kid's not going to the WWE now. You know what I mean? It, but mm-hmm. the thing about it, it, I said that's okay. They, they could go to AEW, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they could go to AEW. So. Um, you know, it's it's like it's it's a rough position because it, I want to do what's morally right by Rita. You know, what I mean? by telling the truth that she did communicate that to me, and at the same time, I want my I, I want to maintain my level of respect and, and friendship with my brothers. You know, 